Hello guys, today we are going to see can we do overload in MEC action methods. So this is a question uh, usually asked by the interviewers. So uh, we can say yes, it's possible to do overload in MEC action method. Okay, but typically here uh, there is a problem uh, if we uh, do overload. So generally we know uh, in oops concept overload is acceptable it won't throw any compile error okay so but generally if we apply to action results it will throw you the compile error because reason is as uh, the method is assessing by url in http protocol so http protocol you can't directly assess the or right because http required unique urls if you do by assess if you have a two method with the same name then obviously it will throw you the error but as c sharp supporting the overload it won't throw any compile error so let's go and see this okay so what i am here is so i have a action result called privacy so this is my uh, URL home controller and my privacy. So my page is lo loading is fine. So now I'm applying same thing for overload. Okay. Now with the okay fine. Okay, we call it as something uh, string ID. Okay. So now uh, let's go and build my web application so it's not throw any error as c sharp is supporting overlay but now when i go here and refresh my page it show, uh, throws the error saying that unhandled exception ambiguous match exception so what it is saying is the request matched with multiple endpoints it's go and check home privacy home controller and the privacy okay it has the two methods with the same name okay so this is what i said so in normally in a oops c sharp concept overload is accept it won't throw any compiler but if you go to the http protocol if you try to assess um, as a url uh, then it will throw the error so how to avoid that how to achieve overload uh, satisfy in both HTTP protocol as well as the C sharp. It's very simple. So that is something called action name attribute. Okay. So still uh, my method I overload. So we are not changing anything just for uh, telling the HTTP protocol. Okay. To uh, have a different name for my overload method because it's need the unique uh, URL name. So let's go and add that. Okay. Action name. Okay. We call it something like privacy. Okay. Uh, with ID. Okay. So now just save that. Build your MEC application. So now it's succeed. So now let's go and refresh okay it's loading my privacy this is what this method it will return so now again uh, let me go and assess my privacy with id still i am retaining the same view so let's change this okay so privacy it has the parameter that uh, we need to pause it okay as because uh, so we didn't define any uh, we, we just simply return the view so let's just uh, return my privacy page only okay so this is so under the home okay so under the home we have a privacy so anyways default view we are returning so let's go and build that solution okay 
see now it's start loading with my overload method so hopes you understand so overload is possible with uh, in MVC by applying the action name and it will satisfy C sharp as well thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries comment in the comment section stay tuned go free and chat for more tutorials